My official thoughts on Born Again. Is Born Again any good? Should I use it? Centrio. Call it law and order around Centrio. these parts. Uh, in this variation, I only have this one move equipped, but um, both defensive bars of meter used for a random RNG element. I've already been pretty, pretty clear about that, you know, about how I feel. I think that's expensive, especially because it's random. Again, my custom one only has this one rocks thing, but um, uh, let's see. I think let's have a look at this because I believe this is. So I already thought that that was expensive, which is fine, you know, I guess it, I, if you want to pay two bars of defensive mirror, that means you can't roll, you can't wake up, uh, you can't do a flawless block attack, well you can do a flawless block attack if, it, if it's a regular attack, um, until the, both of those bars come back. And then if you do it again, then same kind of thing. Um, one thing that I do like about the, tor whoops, the tornado is it makes your strings um, safe. So you can do multiple strings into it. That is nothing unsafe about that string, but I don't know. There's no real mix up there, so like, that doesn't really seem that useful to me. And then I lose all my gear. Okay, so still refilling. My buff, by the my, time my buff fit, wears out, we haven't even built one defensive meter back. So, it's not bad as far as how fast it re, uh, recharges, but I, I still think it's too expensive. Um, anyways, back to the, uh, the winds. So, the winds are good to keep you safe. They're not a mix-up. In Force of Nature, you get the ground pound, what makes you get a true 50-50 off this string. You get a 50-50 off this string if they don't know the matchup well enough. Wind is just kind of like another thing. It's just a safe move. That's basically it. This is just a safe move. Um, now, we talk about it as a um, breakaway, armor breaking move. So let's set the AI to breakaway. Let's do, let's do fast first. And we'll go easy crushing blows on. And we'll do this. Boom, demonetize. So, there's 296 uh, damage for an armor break that leaves you at plus one. Only plus one. Which is, I am not complaining, plus one is something. It's something. Um, but, if the AI delays the breakaway, it becomes incredibly difficult to time this right. Look at that. He dropped. I didn't get my restand. I have to, like, delay it. Play my own thing. And if I don't time it exactly perfectly, it's gonna drop every single time. See, that time I did it too late. There, that time I nailed it. And I'm plus one. So, let's do this again. So we got 296 damage with a plus one reset. Plus one restand. I just did it down to, I got four more damage, not a whole lot of damage, mind you, more damage, and instead of getting my restand, I get them on Oki, where I basically do whatever I want because they have no defensive meter. Why the fuck would I use Tornado? That's all I'm saying, because, like, even mid-screen or whatever, doesn't even work. It only works if you're in the corner. So like why? Like what it's, this could be the worst armor breaking move in the game. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Maybe if you have buff on. Yeah, if you have buff on. And you get the crushing blow. Oh, but your buff goes away if they do uh, if you do a crushing blow. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, Tornado could be the worst armor breaking move in the game. I don't know what Sonya's is. What is Sonya's? Why is why is Sonya's worse? I want to hear your your argument for that. Let's let's go let's go to Sonya. Sonya Blade. 
So she has it. She already is better because she has it in all three variations. Because four and three is in all three variations, right? 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 So you have to worry about it in all three variations. Already better than Cetrion. All, already better than Cetrion's. So how do I launch with Sonya? That's a good question. That is an excellent question. Back one, two, three. This is work. God, I gotta listen to that terrible frickin'. So you still get the end of the continued combo. How plus is that? That's my next question. Plus 30, you're plus 31 off of that. You do whatever the hell you want. She's already a mix machine. Like, how is that bad, man? It looks stupid. Down two. You lose your hit advantage. It doesn't tell you the hit advantage if they break away. That's kind of a... Yeah, so she's kind of in the same boat. Uh, except if she does hers, at least if she does hers, she's plus 31 on the wake up. Where they have no armor anyways. So it would come down to whether this is more advantageous or if this is more advantageous. For three extra damage? I mean, I might take something that's plus 31. Other than this, which I'm not really sure is... You know what I'm saying? So, definitely not worse than Cetrion. So, that's my Cetrion's armor breaking is terrible. When you look at all aspects and all possibilities, I still think Sony's is better. It's not great. It's definitely not a top one in the game. Might be actually second worst. I haven't looked at all of them, so I don't know. But you know, do you guys feel me? Am I being like, obnoxious about this? I just, because I, I was playing a Cetrion that was using Tornado a lot. And I was like, hmm, this seems pretty neat. And if it's armor breaking. But it's only good thing is that it's safety. It keeps you safe, right? Johnny's the second worst. Okay, whatever. I'll just t I'll take your word on that one.